going to work on is this link event area. So we need a few lines. image editor. Alright, so we need this inside line and then that line right there, which is what we grabbed. Uh, so let's shift D and move it to its own selection. So just make sure the naming is still right. And then let's move this to the bumper. So this we'll call the front splitter, and then this we'll call the front vent, I guess. Um, and that's good. So let's go into edit mode, and let's see what we're working with. Uh, so first, let's make this shape. So we can get rid of this, and we can... Let's look at it first from the... Um, front view. So let's slide this back to be on that line. And uh, if we use the edge slide, then it follows the um, like the curve that we made pretty well. All right. So let's go to front view and let's just bring this up like so, and then bring it across all the way there and then let's bring it out uh, and then let's turn off the solidify and the shrink wrap and then side view we'll see how we can line it up That is good. Now we can face this area up. Like so. Like that. And then face that up. And then we're going to grab this row, and in front view we're going to bring it down to there. And this we're going to slide, like so. And then this, bring it back, and out just a bit. Okay. Um. This will bring back in, yeah, to about that point is good. And this one we're going to slide in to there. Okay. And then all of that in the back, just select it with the L and hide it so it doesn't get in the way for the time being. Okay, so that's all good for now. Let's shade it smooth, and then let's bring in this back row, and delete everything at this point, because you want that uh, outline there. Move this across like so, 
and then forward, and then right here, let's join those up. So merge at last. Okay, now let's bring it back. Then in top view, I'm going to bring it forward a bit. This one we're going to control shift B just so we have that extra. Um, sorry, let me turn this on. And then join that up, I think. And now I'm going to bring this down so it's level with the, I mean with that. And then let's go back to local view. Let's extrude it down. And I'm going to scale into that. And then we can face that up to create that outline. And then we need something similar here. Just recalculate the normal shade smooth and let's see what it looks like in front view. Right, let's just tighten that area up. And then bring these forward. Like that. Okay, and then this make the rim more even. And I'm gonna drop that in there and then the same here. Okay, cool. And now let's come down to here, let's extrude, and just move it by hand out like that, and then bring it in. And then I'm just going to tighten that rim, and then from here, we're just going to extrude it back. Like so. To give it that thickness. And then when you look at it from the side, um, as you can see from here, it has that, uh, like, you know, it has thickness. Um, and then right here, we're going to extrude and go to medium point. We're going to scale it and then scale it along the Z and then just bring it up uh, just to, like, wrap it with quads. And then we're going to extrude back. Because we're going to have to fit the, I guess, fog lights in there. And then that, let's tighten that slightly. Yeah. Okay. So I think that part is pretty much done. We'll add the grill here and there later. Um, same with that. But yeah, that is the front little vent thing. Uh, pretty much done. Let me see if I can slide this up a little bit here and there. Get rid of any shading issues. Or like make the panels yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that for now. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching.